The 2026 KDX-3 Batch II Aegis Destroyer represents the pinnacle of modern naval engineering, merging cutting-edge technology with formidable power and advanced maritime defense capabilities. As the latest iteration in South Korea's Blue Water Naval strategy, this destroyer doesn't just push the envelope, it reshapes it entirely. While the name may sound like something from a sci-fi blockbuster, make no mistake, the KDX-3 Batch II is a very real and highly capable warship that's redefining regional naval balance. At a glance, the ship is unmistakably a powerhouse. With a displacement of around 10,600 tons and an overall length of about 170 meters, it stands as one of the largest and most sophisticated destroyers in the Asia-Pacific region. Compared to its predecessor, the original KDX-3 Sejong the Great Class Destroyers, this new batch refines nearly every system on board, incorporating the latest advancements in sensors, weaponry, and survivability. One of the key highlights of the KDX-3 Batch II is its integration of the Aegis Combat System Baseline 9, which significantly boosts the ship's ability to detect, track, and neutralize incoming threats. This system is the brain of the ship, responsible for coordinating data from the ship's sensors and directing its weapons. With Baseline 9, the destroyer gains a multi-mission capability, enabling it to handle ballistic missile defense, anti-air warfare, surface warfare, and anti-submarine warfare simultaneously. This multitasking capability is critical in modern naval engagements where threats can emerge from multiple directions at once. The radar system is another standout feature. The SPY-1D radar array, enhanced with the latest gallium nitride technology, offers increased range, better resolution, and improved resistance to jamming. The radar can track hundreds of air and surface targets in real-time, allowing the ship to function as a floating command center in high-threat environments. This radar is also the backbone of the ship's missile defense capability, enabling it to engage threats like ballistic missiles using interceptors such as the SM-3 and SM-6. Weaponry is where the KDX-3 Batch II really earns its destroyer title. The ship is equipped with a vertical launching system VLS, that holds a mix of missiles, standard missiles for air defense, HYUNMO-03C land attack cruise missiles for precision strikes, and potentially even the LSAM, a Korean-developed long-range interceptor designed for ballistic missile defense. This mix of offensive and defensive firepower makes the ship a floating fortress capable of projecting power deep into hostile territory or defending vital sea lanes and carrier strike groups. On the defensive side, the destroyer features a layered defense system. In addition to long-range missile interceptors, it carries short-range weapons like the RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile RAM, and Phalanx CIWS Close in Weapon System for point defense against incoming missiles and aircraft. This redundancy ensures that even if a threat gets past one layer, others are ready to engage. Under the hood, the ship is powered by a combined gas and gas COGAG propulsion system, giving it high-speed performance and operational flexibility. It can reach speeds exceeding 30 knots, making it capable of rapid maneuvers and quick repositioning in dynamic naval battles. Whether it's chasing down smaller vessels or repositioning for missile defense, the KDX-3 Batch II can keep up with any modern naval fleet. Design-wise, the ship takes a stealthier approach compared to its predecessors. The angular superstructure, reduced radar cross-section, and electronic emissions management all contribute to making it harder to detect. While it's not a fully stealth ship-like, some newer Western designs, the reduction in radar signature is enough to give it an edge in contested environments where early detection can mean survival or destruction. Living and working conditions on board have also seen improvements. Crew comfort is often overlooked in military discussions, but for long-duration missions, it's a critical factor. The KDX-3 Batch II offers better accommodations, noise reduction measures, and advanced automation that reduces crew fatigue. This is not only good for morale but also essential for maintaining high operational readiness during extended deployments. Another significant upgrade lies in the ship's network-centric capabilities. The KDX-3 Batch II is designed to operate as part of a broader network of assets, including submarines, aircraft, satellites, and land-based systems. This interconnectedness allows real-time information sharing, cooperative targeting, and improved situational awareness. In a modern conflict, this can mean the difference between reacting to a threat and neutralizing it before it even becomes one. 
While the destroyer is primarily built for the Republic of Korea Navy, it also plays a vital role in joint operations with allies, particularly the United States and other Indo-Pacific partners. Its Aegis system is interoperable with allied naval forces, allowing seamless coordination during multinational exercises or actual combat scenarios. This ensures that South Korea isn't just defending its own waters but actively contributing to broader regional security. Cost is always a factor with advanced military platforms, and the KDX-3 Batch 2 is no exception. Each unit costs several billion dollars when factoring in research, development, and onboard systems. But what you're paying for isn't just a ship, it's a multi-domain combat platform capable of standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with any destroyer in the world today. From air defense to anti-submarine warfare, from power projection to missile interception, the ship is a Swiss army knife of naval warfare. What makes this ship truly unique, however, is its strategic role. As tensions in East Asia continue to simmer, particularly in the South China Sea and around the Korean Peninsula, having a ship like the KDX-3 Batch 2 sends a clear message. It's not just a tool of defense, it's a statement of deterrence. Its presence alone can alter the calculations of adversaries and reassure allies of South Korea's commitment to regional stability. To sum it all up, the 2026 KDX-3 Batch 2 Aegis destroyer is more than just a warship. It's a next-generation naval platform that blends raw power, smart systems, and strategic utility in one cohesive package. With its advanced radar, versatile weapons, stealthier profile, and battle-tested Aegis system, it's not only a crown jewel of South Korea's navy but also a symbol of its evolving role in global maritime.